Hello and welcome to my next LOLE Sports video where we're going to go over the biggest surprises of this offseason. What moves, what team compositions surprised you the most? This is not about what teams you think are the best, but what actually shocked you. As in like, oh my god, I didn't expect that to happen. That sort of thing. Um, so, because some people I think are just going to put down like super teams and like, it's like, yeah, um... That team spends money yearly, so there's no shocker there into why that super team became the way it was, because historically that team does that, like people don't you know, think. Um, fifth place for me is DRX. DRX, um, parting ways. So a lot of people said this org was broke. That they weren't going to be able to keep these players together. And I didn't believe it until it actually happened. I was like, I cannot believe that these players do not see the... I mean, I can't believe the org doesn't see the value. Sponsors don't see the value. Players don't see the value monetarily in keeping the championship team all together. I understand historically we've had teams break up with one player gone. Maybe two players gone. But all five... I mean, sorry... Four of them left. Barrel left behind. Barrel, the one that's been going deep into the playoffs the last few years, right? Is the lucky charm, if you will. Um, Kingen, Zeka on HLE. Pioshik on Team Liquid. And Deft on Dom Juan Kia. So, didn't expect that at all. They're fifth place for me. I really, really, really am surprised that that happened. Um, fourth place, 100 Thieves. Bjerg and Double F. Because honestly, I did not expect these two old men to be playing together. I didn't expect um, them to go to 100 Thieves, a, a really big content creating um, team. Um, honestly, it was something that I really didn't. I mean, who thought Doublelift was coming out of retirement after being away from the game for two years? Um, being with Bjergsen, I know 100 Thieves aren't going to be great. Um, definitely not a team I expect to win. Um, but it's a, it's a fun thing. It surprised the hell out of me. I mean, I did not, I did not expect that at all. Um, and Boosio and Tenacity are fun. So I didn't expect that specifically with, um, with Bjerg and Doublelift. Those are play, I mean, I didn't expect Doublelift to come back, right? Nobody had that, I think. Next, I've got the green marker. So that means FlyQuest, right? And a lot of people are surprised by this. So, I'm actually more surprised by this one than that one. And people are going to say, really? Prince, like, literally was one of the best players in the LCK last year, and he literally left for the LCS. But we had been hearing rumors about Prince going to Rare Adam alongside Lahens and other things well before he went to FlyQuest. So, Prince was all but out. So... Did I expect him to go to the LCS? Absolutely not, but I knew he wasn't going to be a sandbox, which is halfway there. Vikla, I am shocked KT went away from Vikla. Honestly, thinking about KT, maybe I could have even thrown Keen on here, but I digress. Um, so, well, I guess I could see him leaving. I mean, that, that team might, that team looks gross. Um, but Vikla, a rookie of the year, left Allowed to leave KT to go to FlyQuest. I mean, that's a shocker. FlyQuest, all of a sudden spending a ton of money. It's an org that used to historically not be able to keep their players after they went to Worlds. Like, that's an honest shocker. Shocker to me um, that FlyQuest did that. Second place I need two markers for. And we're going to pour one out for the Gen G fans. Ruler... Becoming Ruler. Nobody, I think, expected Ruler to not end his career with Gen G. That that was kind of just a thing. Um, seeing him play for JDG specifically isn't as shocking as him leaving Gen G to begin with. Um, 
once he left Gen G, it was like, well, he's going to go to a really good team. So he's going to go to like JDG or, or top or, or, uh, you know, just a really, really cracked team. Dom one Kia, like we knew he was going somewhere, but the fact that he left and they went with a 17 year old in pays in his place is absolutely insane. Um, so that's a big deal. That is super surprising. Nobody thought Ruler was going to be out. And I don't think anybody expected Ruler and Lahens to be out in a way that kind of felt fishy. Like they wanted to stay, but they couldn't stay. Like money wasn't there. It's a weird situation. Um, I don't know why they re-signed Doran. I don't know. I don't know. Couldn't want to go get a different top laner. Um, so... That's that. And first place is going to shock a lot of people only because it's not as competitive as the second and third one. But you have to acknowledge how extremely random it is. Heretics. Eevee. That is so random so shockingly surprising that it has to be first never ever 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 has a japanese player imported out like that like in the fact that he's like 27 years old past his prime like it's just absolutely wild like we thought ruler was going to retire with his team but we have seen players leave their orgs that you thought were going to retire with them before and i mean it still shocks you when it happens because like oh my god really they moved on from that player but like evie is literally detonation focus me moving on from evie is a big deal because detonation focus me evie and Utapon have been there forever to um the lec not to mention you could throw in yankos there too like who really had Nobody, nobody had this. Nobody had Eevee and Yankos on their bingo card. Nobody had Prince on their... I mean, really, literally, these first three, nobody had that on their bingo card in terms of predictions. Um, just completely and outright craziness. And by that, I mean, not predi people are going to say, oh, well, this person predicted it. Yeah, after offseason and rumors started. I mean, in October... None of these would have been predicted. Um, so that's just absolutely outstandingly and completely. Just, I mean, I'm running out of adjectives. It's just truly astounding. So comment down below with your biggest surprise from the off season. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like, follow, well, subscribe to my channel, um, follow my Twitter, join the discord, become a YouTube member. $3 a month keeps the channel alive. $10 a month obviously keeps the channel alive. That'd be real. That'd be cool. Um, plus you get extra content, especially in January when, um, league comes back. So we'll go over that when we get closer to it, but, um, that's that. Thank you for watching. Hope you come back for more content.